So it, it, it seems that everyone wants to get better at these kinds of things. Um, if, you've, if you've been learning jump kicks for a little while, I'm sure you want to improve them majorly. If you've been doing them for quite a long time, I'm sure you want to give yourself more advanced movements. Well, in this video, what I'm gonna go, uh, go ahead and do is show you some exercises you can use to help improve the jumping aspect. The technique itself, depending on what one you're doing, is obviously very, very important and requires practice by itself. But we're mainly aimed at uh, the principles that a jumping are involved. So, a few exercises to give you an idea of things you can do to train yourself. Um, in general, when it comes to jumping, there's a lot of emphasis on the quadricep muscles and the uh, gastrocnemius, the calf muscles. Um, albeit, when you're doing a jump kick, there are uh, certain amounts of the core and upper body involved with twisting and stuff. In general, in general, it's the uh, lower body that's responsible. So, to start off with, we're going to talk about this uh, sandbag over here. Two main principles. Jumping itself, or building the strength up to do the jump, and awareness of your jumping, which I'll go through in a second. So, we start with the quadriceps. You can do standard squats as a, 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 a long-time favourite of anyone that practices jump kicks is to just practice building those muscles up in those quadriceps to give you the spring, okay? Now, <clears throat> if you have access to something like this, it'll be very, very handy. If you don't, uh, as opposed to a sandbag like this, you could easily fill up a rucksack with some, uh, some clothes or something in it just to give it some weight. But all you need is something like this, just to add a bit of tension to those quads so that when you go down and up, it's a lot more emphasis on building up the muscle and building up the strength. Where do you go from there? Well, what you then do is you practice jump squats without weight, first of all, okay? So you go down, okay, and then you spring off the floor and really tuck those knees in, that's the key, okay? Now, to make that more challenging, of course, you add weight to it. So, again, you hold your sandbag, or it might be a, a, a weight disc, or it could be anything. But you squat down, and you push up. Nice and hard. All right, now, <clears throat> the other thing to remember is, obviously, like I said before, the gastrocnemius muscles, the calf muscles. They are responsible for the spring, for the jump. So it's really important to train them as often as possible. There's a few ways to do it. If you remember in previous videos, <clears throat> you've been shown what cardio kicking is. So that's where we do this exercise. That's really good for working a singular side of the calves. My personal favorite, even though it doesn't seem like much, is to hold a weight like so and to go up on the balls of the feet and then go down without touching the floor just go up down up down up down and just do that until you physically can't take it anymore all right now awareness jumping probably if not it's just as important as the uh the uh training aspect of it but knowing how high your legs are actually getting <clears throat> because when you perform a jump kick all right, unless you're facing a mirror or something like that, you can't always see exactly what your legs are doing and how high you're going. And very often with jump kicks, what happens is, because we're thinking so much about trying to pull off a, a really, really good kick, we tend to forget about how, what are, are our legs following us or what are they doing? And uh, when a jump kick happens, most of the time, what we get is a one-two effect, which is one-two, like that. So we get a jump kick and then we get that, which is, where the other leg wasn't tucked up enough. So of course you landed too early, therefore losing air time. Well, what we need to practice doing is getting a stack like this. And again, this could be uh, pillows. <laughs> if you've got a couple of uh, cardboard boxes stacked on top of each other, that's good. Just make sure it's something you can clear <clears throat> and you're not gonna land through. But what you do is you practice jumping over the top, <clears throat> really tucking those knees in. And then you come back again and do that as many times as you can. You can also do it laterally, which is a bit harder, all right? But you do sideways jumps like this, sideways, as best you can, all right? Quite a difficult, trick, uh, tricky exercise to do. So you've got that, you can take the height down or increase it depending on how comfortable you feel. But again, just getting used to doing things like that, okay? So <clears throat> in general, as we said, improving the muscles with some weight on the quadriceps and the calf muscles and also practicing 
awareness jump in. And you wanna do that as often as you can, really. So really, anytime you're training legs, you really want to incorporate some kind of plyometrics uh, as well. A couple, a couple more exercises for you that you don't need any kit for. Burpees are one of the best ones because they still use the spring action of the legs. So it's the same when you go down here and shoot your legs out, okay? When you bring them back in, you spring from the floor. But what's really important here is you jump as high as you can. And then you get back down again. All right? And of course, uh, there is also lengthy jumps as well. So let's say I'm standing uh, on this red square here. <clears throat> and I'm going to try and use that red one there to gauge my distance. So from here, it's about setting yourself on a spot and clearing as much distance as possible with one singular jump. All right, so you bend your knees, you drive, get as far forward as you can, and then you do it coming back as well. It's a good idea to use cones for that if you've got them, drill cones, so you can see your distance each time. But uh, hopefully there's some ideas for you to follow there. And it's all about improving the muscle stimulus uh, to do with our jump kicks. All right, so like and share the video, give some of those a try and let us know how you get on. All right, take care of yourselves.